Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua have figured this thing out, and I am pumped about it. I, uh, I'm, I'm ready to see it. I'm going to go on and play Tyson Fury's uh, thing right quick. It's less than a minute, so let's, let's dive into that. If it'll play, which it won't. This stupid ESPN app. I swear to God. Okay. Uh, um, there we go. Uh, he just informed me that the biggest fight in British boxing history has just been agreed. Get up there, my boy! <laughs> uh, big shout out, Dan. He got this done. Um, literally over the line. Two fight deal. Uh, Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua um, next year. One problem. I just got to smash Deontay Wilder's face right in in the next fight. Um, and then we go into the Joshua fight next year. So there we are. The Gypsy King versus AJ is on for next year, but there is a hurdle in the road called the Bronze Bomber, aka the Knockout King, and I will get on to him and knock him spark out, and then we got on to the big fight. So big thank you, Dan, for getting this deal over the line. All the best. God bless you all. See you soon. Peace out. You gotta love that man. I love that love man. Oh, I love that guy. So so Tyson Fury. Anthony Joshua is confirmed for 2021. It's a two-fight deal. However, he did say he's still got to handle Wilder again. Now, I think yeah. all of us agree he more than likely he's going to handle Wilder. I mean, I the think, first two I think times. He, I've seen this fight twice, and and he really he, won both of them. I think he clearly won both of them. I I, I agree. Now, I will say, uh, oh, in the <laughs> Michael said every time I hear him talk, I think of Brad Pitt and Snatch. Yeah. Oh, same thing. Such a good such movie. A good movie. Such, such a good, a good movie. movie. Uh, Michael said uh, the money Reggie took had nothing to do with him do, uh, dominating college football. And Jose jumped in on YouTube, said, what's up, good? They made peace with Reggie Bush. That's what I'm talking about. We got a lot yep. of people happy about this. So, no, they need to be. Let's go. So Anthony Joshua, uh, he still has a bout against Kubrat Pulev. Hopefully I said that right. He is I, a, I, don't have, I don't have a clue who that is. 39-year-old Bulgarian boxer. He's 28-1. His only loss was a fifth-round knockout loss to Vladimir Klitschko back in 2014 in well, Germany. Yeah, he's 40. Yeah. yeah, yeah, sure he fought the Klitschkos. Exactly. So, I mean, if Joshua goes out and loses again, it it would it would really hurt this this bout this this bout this yes. two fight thing. And if if Fury loses to Wilder, that's right. It'll, it'll hurt it all. It's going to hurt this. So the the deal isn't completely done. They've got the basics done at the fight. Well, we're still going to get the fight. It just won't be as exciting for most people. Listen, exactly. I'll, uh, I'll watch Fury fight anybody on earth. I, I think I would agree. And, and I, I think I'd watch there. that guy hit rocks. Um, This is one that very easily will sell out an 80,000 yes. seat stadium over in, in London. And they'll, yep. I mean, they will blow this thing up. If we're able to have, I'm, I'm sure that they will oh, not do this. Oh, it's next year. Come on yeah. now. We're not doing that, Gary. I'm sure they won't do it until they're able to have people in the stands. We're not doing that. Yeah. Let's go. Let's I go. need this I, fight. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. I've been waiting for the Fury is going to humiliate. I just need more Anthony Fury Joshua. on TV. That's it. That's all I need. I need Fury to stay on TV. Is there? I don't know that there's anybody that can compete with him. No, I don't either. I, when I saw him take Wilder's best punches right to his melon, and he went down, and then he just got right back up. I rose, thought, rose from there's, the dead. There's no one else on earth that can knock this guy out. You're not being the only way you're beating him is on points. That means you have to be able to stand and fight with him for 12 rounds and hope that the judges give you the card because you are not knocking him out. Yeah, no, you're Wilder right. is the hardest throwing puncher I've ever seen. I'm not gonna say ever in my life. Foreman back in the day would knock down trees. Okay, but <laughs> Mike, Mike Tyson had a, uh, had a, a Tyson's heavy the most early. dangerous man I've ever seen in my life. But but Wilder, Wilder, Wilder's up there. Wilder, Wilder is in the in the argument for the hardest punching guys I've ever seen in my life. He gave him his best shot. He put the man on the ground and he just got up. He yeah. just got right back up, which is kind of terrifying that's that is why i don't see anybody beating him unless you can last 12 and then let it go to the cards that's it that's that's the list right there and maybe anthony joshua can do that joshua joshua has a hell of a lot better shot at that than wilder because wilder's not going 12 with anybody oh jose jumps in he said aj gonna smash fury i do not think so oh i don't know that i agree with that 
Look, I don't know that Fury, I agree with that. I'll, hey, is, listen, I'll be in. I'll be watching. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. Um, I mean, it, that's that is the fight to make right now, and I'm glad that they've at least got this done. Why Wilder and Fury couldn't get this done? Not Wilder and Fury. Wilder and Joshua. That was the fight everybody wanted. That's the fight everybody wants. wanted, and then Wilder got beat. Well, Joshua got beat. I mean, Joshua got beat. I'm yeah, sorry. Joshua got Joshua beat, got. and then Wilder lost to Fury. And see, yeah. if you don't make these matchups, that's what sucks about boxing. No, see, here's the thing. This is where you and I differ. Because Wilder and Joshua would still be an incredibly fun fight to watch. Yes, okay? but it it's loses still a the... super entertaining. So let's say Fury beats both these guys' ass, okay? Okay. Why can't we get a Joshua Fury fight? I mean, a Joshua Wilder fight. After that, oh, I think, I think Th- neither one of them are champs, and they both lost to Fury twice. Okay, sure, but it doesn't matter. It's still a great fight that would sell the hell I, out of it. I agree because those guys are super entertaining. But the the deal is, the money won't be the same as it was when you had Wilder undefeated and you had Joshua undefeated. The money would have been ridiculous, uh, oh, and it just okay. wasn't the same because Fury was not the same name. But who, as Joshua who was at the time. Who, so you don't get to make a hundred million dollars in one night? I'm sorry, no, but I, is, is I sixty where okay? You're like, I understand where you're coming from. Uh, all I'm saying is that it, the the cachet of it, the the hype, the buzz, won't this be is, the same. This is, the, the college football has the same damn problem. We got to have one versus two or it's no no fun. No, bullshit. Alabama and Ohio State would be fun anytime. It doesn't matter what they're ranked. Yeah, agreed. You don't have to fudge the rankings. You don't have to have this ranking system to make it great. Styles make fights. Yes. Take two guys that match up well together and put them in the ring. This is why boxing is dying. This is why boxing always has needed a governor. They needed a commissioner. They need somebody to say, you are going to fight him. And it's going to draw tons of numbers. This is why guys shouldn't go undefeated their entire life. Uh, Well, I mean, UFC is really good at this, right? Yes. But look, at UFC, nobody goes undefeated their entire career. No one. Except to be right now. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But, he's, but at uh, some he's point in time, level. you get big enough to where you just hand pick your fights. You can win everything. So yeah, yeah you got to win a lot early, but then you just hand pick everybody you want to fight, and it's easy to go undefeated. Yeah, and it's not the same. It's not the same. I've never moment. been a fighter in my life. If I got to hand pick all the people I fought, I could throw a bunch of six year olds out here. I beat the hell out of all of them. Yep. I mean, uh, two hundred no by the weekend. Jose said boxing needs a GM. Everybody got a uh, got a fight in they oh in their weight. Yeah. 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 Well, so, so two things kill boxing, okay? One, the not having a commissioner to make people have to have fights, all right? The second thing, they wanted all these title fights, and so every three pounds, they had a new weight division, so they had a new belt, and so they just manufactured titles. Yeah. This is the problem that you've got is, is, well, if it's not for a title, then it's not a big fight, and so nobody cares. That's just not true. I would watch, These guys could lose six fights in a row. I would watch... Joshua and Wilder all day long. Yeah. yeah and I think said, anybody who, like Mayweather. who's yeah. followed the sport would still watch those guys, even though they've got a couple of L's on their list. They well, it's, because they, it's because they know the kind of fighters that they are. I mean, it's yes. the reason Cowboy Cerrone has lost like four fights straight in the Damn UFC. Damn straight. And I'll still show up and we anytime he's on a card. I'm there. Yeah. I mean, Showtime Pettis, the same thing. Nate Diaz. Like, it doesn't matter yeah. win or lose. You know you're going to be entertained. There are some boxers. That's right. Like the problem is, you have to make a name for yourself at some point to get. Oh no! Yeah, in. you got. No, you need to win a lot before you take those L's. As that, I, that's I, I will thing. never forget uh, Jermaine Taylor losing to Kelly Pavlik back in the day. I mean, this was like twenty or two thousand five or well, who knows when it was. I mean, it was a long time ago. Uh, but that you know, Styles make fights. Like Jer- Jermaine Taylor was the next big thing in boxing. I mean, he was fantastic. He was fighting in Memphis at FedEx Forum. Fairly regularly. I think he had like three different fights there. And Pavlik whooped his ass, man. Just destroyed him. And nobody ever heard from him again. I was still able to watch him on like HBO and whatnot. But man, he did not draw anything once he took that first L. And it was just, ugh. Like it just sucked. It took all so the many of that is, of it, So many know? of that is promoters. So many of that is the, just the way the sport works. Yeah. If it was ran by like UFC with the commissioner and and everybody was under one umbrella and where everybody and was were, fighting each other yes they were given good contracts but they were forced to show up and fight then then yeah it would be a lot better cuz then you wouldn't just take a loss and then your career be dead that is all the promoters walked away from that guy yeah 
That's yeah. 100%. That's not his fault. That's And that's not TV's fault. That is that is all the promoter said, oh, this guy didn't have it the way we thought he had it, so let's walk away. And, and UFC is kind of inching that direction right now where the fighters, you know, they want more uh, power over who they fight, etc. You know, Nate Diaz won't take this fight, and McGregor won't take this fight, and blah, 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 blah. Like, it's... It's getting to that point where you can't make the good matchups. Yeah. So it's a little terrifying. I don't like the way that I it's do, going. I do think but. at some point in time, if Dana found a way to pay them more money, but say you you have you don't you basically have a no trade clause, like you you can't say no. I'm going to give you more money, but you don't you can't ever say no. You yeah. get you're going to sign a three fight deal with me or a four fight deal with me, but but in that four fight deal, you will make X amount of dollars. You happy with that? Now you don't get to say no for those four deals. And yeah. after those four fights, we can renegotiate. But he's got to just start putting that in the contracts where you can't, you just can't say no. Yeah. No, you're right. You're and if right. you don't finish the four fight, I would backload all the money to where you can't make a shitload of money in fight one and then just retire because yeah. you don't like the person he's having you fight. Nope. We're not doing that either. We're going to backload this deal to where that last fight's where you get paid. Well, I think uh I think a lot of it is like pay-per-views and whatnot, so it's percentages, it's all that kind of stuff. And no, I'm fine with that, but they yeah. still get a base rate that, that that's negotiated. Yeah, just up the base rate for some of these uh, these stars and make it, like you said, can't say no to a fight. Like, I'm going to yeah, set you the put, most Yeah, you put in the fight. contract that they can't say no and backload the money to where if they do say no and just retire or quit, well, then you've made a shitload of money off of them because they left all of it on the table until they fight the last fight. This is not a hard problem. When I was in college, I took a couple of economics classes, okay? The best thing I ever did in my life, and I learned that you can solve any problem with money. It's not always the best solution, but there's always an economic solution for it. I do believe in Dana White's problem, you could solve all his problems with money. Just get creative with the contracts, find a middle ground where they're making more money so they are happier, but you have more control. It's what the NFL has yeah. been doing all along, by the way. They're paying these players more and more and more money, and they're taking more and more and more control. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Michael jumped in. Uh, Matt is here, by the way. He finally got in on YouTube. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Michael said, Matt, where are those murder hornets? He said, I was banking on the murder hornets. You can't solve murder hornets with money. Uh, and then Damian oh, Estrada jumped in. We disagree, in. Matt. We disagree. <laughs> I bet we could fix murder hornets with money. Oh. 100%. I bet enough money I could I could fix murder hornets. Hundred uh, percent. Let's dive into the next topic here. SEC me. 